Live Spirit by Noel Coward, recorded before an audience by L.A. Theater Works. This comedy classic is set in the charming country home of Charles Condamine, a remarried widower and novelist. A casual, witty evening among friends is transformed by a seance that conjures the silvery ghost of Charles's first wife, Elvira, who delights in wreaking havoc and hilarity among the living. An enchanted coward comedy. And now, Blithe Spirit by Noel Coward, starring Rosalind Ayres, Judy Geeson, Shirley Knight, and Ian Ogilvie. Put the tray on the table, Edith. Yes, Mum. Good. Now you'd better fetch the ice bucket. Yes, Mum. Did you manage to get the ice out of those little tin trays? Yes, Mum. I had a bit of a struggle, though, but it's all right. And you filled the little trays up again with water? Yes, Mum. Very good, Edith. You're making giant strides. Yes, Mum. Madame Arcati, Mrs. Bradman and I will have our coffee in here after dinner, and Mr. Condamine and Dr. Bradman will have theirs in the dining room. Is that quite clear? Yes, Mum. And when you're serving dinner, Edith, try to remember to do it calmly and methodically. Yes, ma'am. As you're not in the Navy, it's unnecessary to do everything at the double. Very good, ma'am. Now go and get the ice. Yes, ma'am. Not at a run, Edith. Yes, ma'am. Ah, no sign of the advancing hordes. Not yet. Oh, there's no ice. It's coming. I've been trying to discourage Edith from being quite so fleet of foot. You mustn't mind if everything is a little slow motion tonight. I shall welcome it. The last few days have been extremely agitating. What do you suppose induced Agnes to leave us and go and get married? The reason was becoming increasingly obvious, dear. Yes, but in these days nobody thinks anything of that sort of thing. She could have popped into the cottage hospital, had it, and popped out again. Her social life would have been seriously undermined. Yes, we must keep Edith in the house more. That's right, Edith. Put it down on the table. Yes, ma'am. No, I left my cigarette case on my dressing table, Edith. Would you get it for me? Yes, sir. Uh, dear, she's running again. You took her by surprise. A dry martini, I think, don't you? Yes, darling. I expect Madame Arcati will want something sweeter. Mm, we'll have this one for ourselves, anyhow. Oh, dear. What's the matter? I have a feeling that this evening's going to be awful. It'll probably be funny, but not awful. You must promise not to catch my eye. If I giggle, and I'm very likely to, it'll ruin everything. Oh, you mustn't. You must be dead serious, and if possible, a little intense. We can't hurt the old girl's feelings, however funny she is. But why the Bradmans, darling? He's as sceptical as we are. He'll probably say the most dreadful things. No, I've warned Dr. Bradman. There must be more than three people. And we couldn't have the vicar and his wife because, A, they're dreary, and, B, they probably wouldn't have approved at all. Now, it had to be the Bradmans. Oh, thank you, Edith. Uh, steady does it. Yes, sir. We, uh, we might make a walkabout with a book on her head, like they do in deportment lessons. <laughs> Here, try this. Oh, lovely. Dry as...